The North Knox School Corporation is back in business for the school year. Students had their first day of classes today. This year, the school corporation lost half a million dollars out of its budget. New Sense Eric Stidman talked to administrators about the cuts. Education Watch 10 tops headlines from our Southern Bureau. While the students who wander these halls likely won't notice, the North Knox School Corporation took a half a million dollar hit for its 2015-2016 school year. You know, we're starting teachers off less now in our current contract than we were six years ago. North Knox Superintendent Daryl Bob says the money came out of the corporation's general fund, the fund that pays teacher salaries. And while the corporation didn't lose any teachers, it's not necessarily replacing retiring educators either. We look at it pretty tough. We look at it and say, do we really need this position? Um, you know, we had to hire a kindergarten teacher. You know, I, I looked at that one. I didn't know if I was going to replace that position, but. And I'm glad I did today when I was down there because you're talking about 25 kindergartners in a classroom. That's enough. Explaining how the state makes the cuts is a difficult process. Bob says there's a formula based on student enrollment. This is the sixth year North Knox has brought home a budget cut, and that's despite enrollment staying steady at about 1,300 kids. School corporations um, no longer have a local voice. Bob says even if his view goes against state education policymaker, he's here for the students to make sure they get a quality education. Legislators ought to, when they have these committee meetings, if they had them in a third grade classroom, if that's where they made their decisions, after watching those kids take I step and I read and do all the testing that they have to do, and then they had to make some of these decisions in that classroom, looking at third graders, looking them in the eyes, I think decisions would be made differently. In Knox County, I'm Eric Stidman, News 10. The impact for students and administrators say is larger class sizes.